Okay, hey everybody, it's uh, John at Great Moments coming from you live from Westminster, and Josh is helping me out tonight. What's up, everybody? Say hi to everybody, Josh. Uh, we're going to give it a few minutes. We got on here right at uh, 6.30 because we've got a full slate of mystery boxes to open tonight. We have the um, first ever card box tonight. One autographed slabbed card. Um, hey, Bill. One autographed slabbed card. Hey, Bill. What's up, bud? Inside each one of these boxes, mystery boxes. And one is going to have that very nice 1982 traded Cal Ripken autograph card slabbed, authenticated by SGC. Um, we have some Perez Steel cards in there. Um, and some PSA cards, some SGC cards, all, I believe they're all Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. I believe they're all Hall of Famers. We have Hank Aaron is in there, Cal Ripken, Stan Musial. Um, and then we'll go to the mini helmets when we're done the cards. And there's Jerry. Hey, guys. Hey, Jerry. What's up, buddy? Hey, Jerry. Um, and Bill, excited for this one. Yep. So, uh, again, we'll give it a few minutes. And there's Anthony. All right. Um, yeah. It, is it raining there? We got some rain earlier today. We had, we had some rain earlier today. It doesn't. I don't think it's, it's raining. Like it's any, any time. Yeah, cooled off a little bit. Um, so everybody knows what. A, while we're sitting here, um, we got to take care of business. Um, everybody knows what a mystery box is. Uh, we produce 20 of these mystery boxes. Each mystery box has an authenticated. Um, Slabbed, slab means in that uh, plastic holder that PSA or SGC um, creates to put your autograph card in to say it's authentic. Each one of these has a Hall of Fame autographed card in there, and one of them has a Cal Ripken 1982 Topps traded autograph card. Um, you could have gotten these, they did sell out very quick. You could have gotten these for $39.99 per box at GreatMomentsSportsCards.com. Again, 20 different Hall of Fame autographed cards. One has a Cal Ripken 1982 Topps traded, which is much better than a regular Topps much, much rookie better. card or yeah. Don Rosser Fleer rookie much card. Better. If you know, if you're a, a somewhat um, a card collector, you know the 82 Topps traded is the most valuable um, Cal Ripken Topps card. All right. So, um, again, mystery boxes. You could have went to GreatMomentsSportsCards.com and purchased them for $39.99. So that means tonight somebody's going to get a 1982 traded Cal Ripken autographed card uh, for $39.99. Uh, also Hank Aaron, Stan Usual, um, who, Al Kaline, uh, Paul Molitor, Glavin. Duke Snyder, Tom Glavin. There's a Don, Don Drysdale, uh, Perez Steele card. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Perez Steele, you'll see them as we open them. They're roughly a 3 by 5 card. Um, produced of Hall of Famers. There's Lou Brock, Don Sutton, Wade Boggs, Sparky Anderson. Um, again, all Hall of Famers. We had 20 of these and sold out within a couple hours. Yeah, real quick. All right. Um, so again, we're just going to give it another minute, and then we'll start we'll jumping into the minis right after. We'll to talk about the, the minis. Yeah. Okay. So we have the mini helmet boxes here. I'm going to pull one of these aside. Ah. Okay. So the mini helmet boxes. Um, these were uh, $79, $79.99. Every box had a Hall of Fame autographed mini helmet. And one of them has this great looking Johnny Unitas throwback mini helmet. Others in the edition, Jim Kelly, Jerome Bettis, Bill Parcells, Earl Campbell, Mike Ditka, Steve Largent. Like I said, we were saying it's tough to get a mini helmet for under ninety-nine bucks. It's tough to get a mini helmet um, for under seventy-nine dollars. A little bit tougher. Right. Yeah. Um, and again, we produced twenty of these boxes, and one of these boxes was randomly uh, picked. It's not really picked. I, I, how would you call it? It's just randomized it's to have, a, yeah, it. shuffled around. And one of these boxes has a Johnny Unitas in it, so somebody is going to get it for. Um, $79.99. And again, you could have got these at uh, GreatMomentsSportsCards.com. Yep, we'll open these up right after yep. the cards. Yeah, so um, we're going to roll through the cards. We figure the cards will take maybe 30 minutes, um, and then we'll get right to the uh, right to the minis. As, as yep. Maybe take a three-minute break, five-minute break, let Josh uh, put all the names on the sidebar, right? Copy and paste it. 
Okay, so um, let's see how many people we have watching now. If we have um, 12 or 13 people, then that... 22. 22 people yeah. watching. All right. I guess everybody... Hey, Cole, hey, Michael, everybody that um, I bet bought a box is watching. So we are going to start with box number one. And box number one goes to uh, Bill Connor. And remember, everybody gets something. All right, I like the boxes. Hey Jason, what's up, buddy? All right. So we have Jason, we have Derek, we have Neil. All right. And let's see what we have here. Gonna open this box. There's our tissue. We're going to pull this card out. And box number one, Bill Connor gets a uh, PSA authenticated 1983 Fleer Don Sutton autograph. These are pretty cool. These are yeah. really collectible. Yep. 1983 Fleer Don Sutton PSA DNA. So there's yeah. Don Sutton. Yeah, goes to Bill. It's, the cost of getting yeah. them it's roughly, and flat, yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Hey, Rusty, yep. up, Hi, Rusty. Yes, good luck to everyone. So there goes box number one, Bill Connor, Don Sutton. Okay. Box number two, Mr. Sneaky. Um, so box number, no, he's you, yeah. by the way. Okay. Uh, Bryce gets box number two. I wonder if Bryce is watching. We're going to open box number two up. I have a feeling the cards are going to go kind of quick. Yeah. But it is what it is. I don't want to... All right. So. And this feels like a Perez Steel card. Remember, I said they were about three by five in size, but there's some really cool Perez Steel cards in here. Yeah. And this one, oh, this is a good one, Billy Williams. Artist uh, Dick Perez. Yes. So there's a nice, this is what Perez Steel looks like for anybody who has not seen them. They're roughly three by five in size or four by six. What would you say? Uh, Maybe four by six? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Five and a half. Okay, so we'll go with that. But they're great looking cards, Billy Williams. Nice looking autograph. Each one of those cards, there's only ten thousand of them made. Yeah, this is the, there's the there's the back. In general, in right there's the back of the card. Right there again, all authenticated by um, SGC, which is um, sports. What is it? Sports. Uh, it, it's actually called Sports Card Guarantee, but they have the initials SGC. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what it is. Yeah. Look it up for this. Okay, so there we go. Box number two went to Bryce and Billy Williams. All right, so let's go. Box number three goes to John. Just say John. Yeah, John T, right? Yes. Yeah. Anybody know how to pronounce that out there? Not that I can hear you. Klikowski? <laughs> Klikowski? Yeah, Do you pronounce the L after the T or no? That's a tough one. I don't know. All right, so here we go. We're going to say John T, box number three. Let's open up box number three. And this is where the card geek really comes out. I mean, I love opening these boxes. We might have to do this again real soon. I also like it because we kept it to $39. Mm -hmm. Okay, so box number three and box number three is wrapped up pretty good. Gets a 1989 Tops. Autograph Sparky Anderson, and one of the things that um, the uh, sports card guarantee does is they actually put. Let's see if we can focus that in there. Sports card is one word. Sports card guarantee corporation. Oh, okay. <laughs> they actually put on there that Sparky Anderson deceased 2010. How about that? Hey, Linda, how are you? Linda, hello. It won't focus. It won't focus. I guess it's the glare. Yeah. There it is. But there it is. Sparky Anderson. Tigers. And Sparky goes to John T. Alright. So we are into... Linda, we are at box number four. And box number four goes to Derek. Did I think Derek had multiple boxes. He this. does. Okay. I think in both, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Derek has multiple. Derek, it's box number four. And 
Well, let's see. Let's see what we have out there. Chatter, chatter, everybody. Let's see what you're, what you're up to tonight. All right. Well, again, box number four going to Derek. And box number four gets Duke Snyder. Duke Snyder on a 1994 Nabisco. Deceased 2011. Deceased 2011. There you go. I think if I hold it away from the camera, you can see it a little better. Yeah. The, the writing up there. Little A up there for authentic. Okay. So, Duke Schneider goes to Derek for his first one. And we are going to go to box number five. Anthony. Yep. Did Anthony get the, um, the headliner last time? Anthony, what did, what I, don't remember I think Anthony got something, or maybe the time before. Anthony, what did, what did you get the, um, the last mystery box open? All right, so here we go. Anthony, box number five, right there. All right, missed that one. So box number five. <laughs> box number five. Okay, all right. This feels, well, I won't say it, but. Perez Steele, George Kell. There's a uh, George Kell autograph on a Perez Steele card. Yeah, it's tough to get that focused. Yeah, it looks good. The glares. Yeah. Glares in focus. But anyway, <laughs> George Kell. Deceased uh, 2000. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yes. Um, deceased 2009, by the way. Okay. George Cal. So, Anthony, box number five, George Kell. And again, and again, great looking mystery box. Professionally printed up. Look at this. <laughs> Little Great Moments seal on the side. Great Moments mystery box seal. It doesn't have that seal. You know, it's real. All right, so, um, all right, what do we have? Uh, Jason? Box number six. All right, Kevin. Box number six. Box number six. And in box number six, we have Gaylord. It would not be a mystery box break without Gaylord Perry. And there's Gaylord Perry. Has not deceased yet. That's good. Not deceased. At least not when it was. Uh... Right. So there's a Gaylord Perry. Nice looking signature. Again, the Perez Steels. I think technically they're a postcard from the Baseball Hall of Fame. Right there. Um, but it's pretty cool that they did this edition um, autographed um, Perez Steels cards. I, I really like the way they look. Big fan of them. All right. So Gaylord Perry goes to number six. Goes to Jason. All right, number six here. We will go to box number seven. Box number seven is Kevin at box number seven. Box number seven, Let's see what we have here. There we go. Thank you, Jason. All right, Perez Steel, very nice card. Let's everybody thank Linda. It was Linda's idea to do the uh, to do the cards, and we got on it. All right, so did I show the, um, Kevin, did I show your box there? I think I did. Box number seven goes to Kevin, and inside box number seven, we have, very cool, 1984 Topps Wade Boggs. This is a 1984 Topps card, autographed by Wade Boggs, great looking autograph, blue Sharpie, PSA DNA certified, authentic. That's a good looking card. All right, so that's a 1984 Topps Wade Boggs. Again, the card geek coming out of me. I love this stuff. So there's, there we go. All right. And that went Kevin Fox number seven, Wade Boggs autograph card. Right. All right, 
Let's do box number eight. Jerry Brown. Box number eight. Box number eight goes Jerry. And let's cut open box number eight. Okay. And box number eight is a oh nice very nice uh, Perez Steel autographed by Juan Marichal so Juan Marichal autographed Perez Steel card again authenticated by SGC which is Sports Card Guarantee Corporation as I was informed tonight so there we go great looking Juan Marichal card Right. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Thanks again. All righty. Okay, so. Yeah, we might have to do cards again soon. I love these cards. Okay. Um, Jerry Brown, Juan Marichal Press Steel card. All righty. Huh. All right. Let's see what we have here. Box number nine. Um, hey, Josh. Mm -hmm. One second. One second. I am, I'm on some kind of... Let's see here. Everybody else, I'm sure, can see me in real time. But I get confused when I can't. So I, but I didn't touch anything. I, I swear I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch anything. Right. I don't know if it just did it on its own. Okay, Neil. There we go. Neil Safran, number nine, box number nine. Did I miss it? Uh, miss what? No. no. Oh okay. no. Oh no. We are no, boxer. Now we had a nice Juan Marichal. We had a nice Wade Boggs on a 1984 Topps card. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, now, John said thanks for the Sparky Anderson. So this. Wait a minute. But it says on there. He said um, pronounce the last name pretty well too. All right. Was this the Sparky? Yeah, this was Sparky. So John yeah. Knee is John T. Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I get that a lot, uh, John, also. Canigliero, my last name. People butcher it. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we are at uh, Neil at number nine. Let's open up. Let's see what Neil gets here at number nine. And Neil gets a... Oh, very yeah. nice. 1982 Superstar Series, Hank Aaron. This was our second headliner of the yeah, night. This was a strong uh, right. card right there. Hank Aaron. There it is. That's a good looking card. Good looking autograph, yep. too. 1982 Superstar. Perfect card to get Hank nine. Aaron. Yep. Right. Yeah. Blue, blue Sharpie on. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. That's what the back of the card looks yep. like. Yep. There's the back of the card for everybody. All righty, so that goes to Neil. So very nice. I'm going to keep this one aside. We will highlight this one in a little bit. All right, and we have Bill Connor at box number 10. I remember Bill during the Ruth baseball edition when somebody actually got a Babe Ruth autographed baseball for $159.99. Mm -hmm. um, Bill got the 83 World Series ball. Right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So he got a four hundred hour ball for uh, four to five hundred hour baseball for one fifty nine. Yeah. All right, Bill. Box number ten. And we we have in box number ten. Lou Brock. Very nice. Yes. Nothing to be ashamed of there, Bill. Nice looking Lou Brock autograph. He's got a good. Yes, he does. Look, look at, look at that. Ones. Look at that great looking autograph. There we go. Lou Brock's a good one. 
Hall of Fame. Blue Brock, Cardinals. Held the stolen base record until Ricky Henderson said, I am the greatest. So there we hey, go. Green, how you doing? Hey, John. Wait, John's late to the party. Because he has one in these, in this. In no, the in the cards, oh, yes. Right. Yeah, where have you been, John? All right. Well, you know, he's kids just and all. Time. Is he next? Derek, and then he's next. Okay. All right, so let's do number 11. We're on the other side of number 10. So we are at the halfway point right now. Derek, is this Derek's second? Yes, it is. Yes, Derek's number two. Box number 11, and box number 11, we have a very nice card with 1982 Stam Usual Superstars. Very nice. Very nice. 1982 Superstar Stam Usual. Great looking cards. Hmm. Okay. Do you know this card was out of the second series? I did not. It says that on the back. There you go. Second series. How about the Aaron? The. You don't have to run. We'll look at it yeah. later. Let's How about it that? Right it isn't a fry. I left it out there. So, yes, yeah, so it's damn usual. Great looking card. 1982 Superstar. Second, second series? series? Second, second series. series. Was strong. Yes, it was strong. Strong second series. <laughs> <laughs> strong second series. All right, so there we go. John Green. John Green. Did John see we had unparallel up? Oh, yeah, <laughs> we just we just put in the uh, break lounge an unparalleled three box break. Hey, um, and there's Corey. Okay, so John, number twelve. Okay, John, see who this is. And at number twelve, John gets. Robin Roberts, right there. Robin Roberts, deceased 2010, it says. So he's been gone for about nine years. Yep. So Robin Roberts, Hall of Famer, played for the Orioles, right? Yeah. And the Phillies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Perez Steele. Yeah, Derek, that's a good one. Yep. All right. So let's uh, let's keep rolling here. So um, let me ask everybody. Would anybody, um, would everybody be okay if we did a baseball football card mix, or would everybody just like baseball and then like football? Yeah, football. Yes, yeah, so base. Or could we mix it up, baseball and football, with the cards? So I'd like everybody watching just, just you know what, just comment mix or separate. Yeah. I get right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have Derek at number thirteen. Derek, number 13. Number 13. Mix it up. Okay. There we go. One for mix. Two for mix. Two for mix. I like mix because I can put in a better. I can put in a better selection. I can put right. in a. Uh, yes, mix. Okay. All right. So everybody's okay with football. Yeah, because I can put in. Um, Multi-sport cards is fine. Mix it up. Yeah. All right. All right. That's Boom. Like 10 for mix it All right. There we go. Because um, now, I, now I can have a little bit of a stronger yeah. mix. Like we're okay with basketball. Maybe an 86, 87 Fleer card in there. That would be yeah. cool. Mix. All right. Some, okay. We would do uh, personal breaks on Thursday. Right. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so we had, what did we have? We had Derek White at number 13. And let's see what number 13. And we have a Topps card, 1990 Topps, Tom Glavin. There's a 1990 Topps, Tom Glavin, Hall of Fame. See, look, now look, Josh, now that went right in there and, and focused right in. There you go. That's a nice card. It is a great looking card. Mm -hmm. Who was this one? Derek? Derek, yes. Beard uh, or white? Hmm? Beard or oh, white? Oh, uh, white. Back to back. Derek back. White, yes. Number 13, Tom Glavin. 
Number 14 goes to Derek. Uh, Derek Beard. Number 14. Okay. Let's do number 14. Still no cow. That's a First time we've I wasn't going to say it. I, we're You know what? You know, I knew. We're already there, yes, so but I still, still I still didn't want to say it. I still didn't want to say it. I still didn't want to say it. I wanted to see how long it would go before. Well, right? or, I, I, I guess. Derek, I don't know. Number 14 is Derek. And number 14. It's black tissue. It's obvious that it's a Perez Steel Okay, it's a Perez Steel <laughs> card. And it's the one I've been waiting to see is Don Drysdale. That's so that's a great looking Don Drysdale. Tough, real tough autograph. Deceased in 1993. 25 years. Yep. Great looking autograph. Don Drysdale on a Perez Steel card. Mm-hmm. Congrats, Derek. Yep. So uh, in the next one, maybe we'll mix up some Perez Steel, some football, some... But yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, so um, I can be creative with that. that thanks, guys. All right, so uh, yeah, so Don Drysdale, great looking card. And that was box number 15, went to Derek. 14, I'm sorry. We are at box number 15 right now, Jerry Brown. Now, I think right about now is when everybody left. Gets excited. Gets excited. Yeah, day. it could be me. Yeah. Now everybody's saying it's going to be me. Right. Everybody's That's saying. Every time you, yeah. You're, Jerry you're Brown, number fifteen. Way up. Yes. Yes. Great moments, mystery boxes. <sighs> okay. All right. This is number fifteen. Yeah. All right. Number fifteen. And number 15 has a Louis Aparicio Hall of Fame. Also played with the Orioles. Yes, also played with the Orioles. Hall of Famer Louis Aparicio. Louis Aparicio, another great autograph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this holder, I like the holders. I I really like the the slabs, but that's the card geek coming out in me, I guess. Louis Aparicio. Hall of Fame, sports card guarantee, it says it right on the back, right. LLC, right. Corporation. <laughs> All right, so, Louis Aparicio goes to Jerry Brown at number 15, Everyone and everybody, I was going to start talking and just say, hey, what's everybody doing this weekend, but it's getting a little too intense for small talk. Yeah. So, we have um, Brandon Lehner, yeah. Brandon Lehner. Box number 16. Let's see. People got me quiet in the chat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everybody, yes. Everybody's got their chips and they're just like watching. All right. It's getting quiet in here, too. <laughs> All right. So, box number 16 goes to Brandon. And Brandon gets. A 1990 Topps card autographed by Whitey Herzog. Hall of Famer Whitey. Hall of Famer Whitey Herzog. That's right. I read something about him the other day, and I can't think of what it was. He popped up on Facebook for some reason, hmm. and it was something like, "Believe it or not, I no, I don't know what it was. I'm not sure what it was. Hmm. No, it wasn't him. It was it was somebody else. I I don't know what." I'm Okay. Cool story. <laughs> yeah, cool story. When we have time. Hey, Jeff. All right. So there's Whitey Herzog on a 1990 Topps card. And we are at box number 17. Linda. All right. Let's see what we have here. Box number 17. Linda, you out there? Oh. All right. Hey, Robbie, what's up, buddy? 17, maybe. Crossed. All right. And Linda gets a 1982 superstar Al Kaline. Who went to 
What high school? Oh my gosh, we are. <laughs> Linda, what high school did he go to? 1982 Superstar Al Kaline. Superstar card, second edition, second, second edition. series. Second that series. was a strong oh. series. There we go. Hey, John, the box was uh, 39.99 on this one. Yes. And what is so cool? That's right, Rusty's got two of the last three. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, everybody collects cards, and you know you put this in your collection, and right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Al K line, blue sharpie on a 1982's tops. No, not tops. Cards are made 19. For they were um, second series, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Definitely second series. All right, so Al K line, another decent autograph card, and we have box number 18. Rusty's. Uh, all right, That's Rusty. Fun. Okay, did we open one for Rusty? We opened one for Rusty already. Uh, this is Rusty's first? He's got 18, 18 and 20. 18 and 20. Woo Zach is in the middle. Rusty was feeling the high numbers. Sure. Or they were the only ones left. I know, I know, eight, uh, you know. one of the later ones. Yes, go. yes. For sure. All right. And we have number 18 going to Rusty. And number 18. Number 18 is PSA 1983 Donruss Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor, Rusty, 1983. Rusty, Rusty I didn't know. This is like near deal yeah, or no deal. Yeah, yeah you figure Zach, out the odds. Zach's and, odds just went from 33 to 50. That's right. And Rusty's went from 67 mm -hmm. to 50. Yeah. Here we go. Paul Molitor, autograph on a 1983 Donruss card. And Michael, I know the card geek in you is looking at these like, wow, these are cool. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Zachary David, number 19. All right, we're going to look. Zachary David, number 19. So right here, after we open this box, we'll know who has it. Right. Right? We yeah. won't have to wait. So it's either, give me the other box. Yeah. So it's either one of these boxes. It's either Zachary or Rusty, right? It's either 19 or 20. There we go. 19 or 20. Do, do, do. Okay. Got to build it. Got to build it. Got to gotta sell it. <laughs> um, all right. Let's... um. Here, okay, I'm not going to reveal it, but I'm going to open both boxes. both boxes, yes, and so as soon as, so as soon as, um, look, we, it's, it's, we don't know, let me think, yeah, okay, so we don't know what's in there, Rusty, it's just open sitting here, and we don't know what's in here, Zachary, it's kind of just open sitting here, okay, um, they are both. Okay, they're not, neither one of them is a Perez Steel. Right. Right, so we could feel that and tell that neither one is a Perez Steel. Um, so if uh, Zachary doesn't get this, we are going to yank this one out real quick and say, Rusty. Yeah. And if he gets it, Rusty's just going to hold on. Yeah. All right. So, Zachary, box number 19. I'm nervous. Box number 19 gets a 19, it's a Topps card, um, and it's autographed, and it's in an SGC holder, which stands for uh, Sports Card Guarantee. Corporation. Corpor I'm sorry, Sports Card Guaranteed, Guaranteed Corporation. Corporation, and we know that the Ripken is a Topps card, and it's in an SGC holder. Mm -hmm. But we also know that the Jim Rice card is in an SGC holder, 1976 Jim Rice. So I think Rusty just box fell off his 19. chair. This is box number 19. Great card, by the way. Right. Great Jim Rice Hall of Fame autograph vintage 1976 card going to Zachary. But at box number 20, we have this beauty right here. 
This 1982 Topps traded Cal Ripken, great signature on an original 1982 Topps traded card authenticated by SGC. 1982 Topps traded. First, uh, first number 20. Um, one, yes, we had number the Kurt, yeah, um, sh um, Scott had Schilling had, um, number 19 for Ted, for Ted Williams. Williams. Yeah. And now this it's is the first, the first number 20. So, yes, so it can come out of any box. Right. And it, they're just randomized. Yeah. Each box is randomized. The second to last one to sell. And I, and I, and I, yes, and I will say that we have been doing these every week since March 5th. And this is the first number 20 that we've had come out. Yep. So we've March, April, May, June, July. So we've done at least 20 or uh, 20 or 25 congrats, of these. Rusty. Yes, congratulations, Rusty. Everybody, congrats, Rusty. Um, so we are going to recap them. Recap one, uh, which goes to Neil Neil Safran at box number nine. Received a Hank Aaron. Yeah, they are great cards. Superstar 1982 Hank Aaron autograph on a superstar card 1982 and we have at number 20 we have Cal Ripken 1982 tops traded um, autograph card there it is there's the, there it is there's the there's the money shot right there 82 tops traded Great card for your collection, Rusty. It's a real nice card. That is a nice card. That's one that I would like to own. So, all right. So, thank you, everybody. Um, are we going to go off air? Or are we going to stay no. on air? So, we're just going to we're just going to stay on here live. Um, thank you, everybody, for and thank you, Linda, for the suggestion for our first. I guess we could call this a premiere edition. We can't call it inaugural because that's once a year, right? Right. Inaugural means once a year. Um, no, no, no. It means no, first. it just means first. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking of. Uh, what am I thinking of? Perennial. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So this is our inaugural edition. Right. Um, of our tops uh, of our autograph cards. Um, we do have. I, I will hint around. We have another Ripken tops traded, that I'm kind of itching to put in a box, right. for um, for next week. So we will see. Uh, we'll see how that uh, how that goes. But boy, what a great looking, what a great looking card. And the Hank Aaron and Stan Musial and who 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 um received Don Drysdale. Don Drysdale, what a great one. I don't remember. Yeah, I know, I know. But man, we had Stan Musial, Don Drysdale, Lou Brock, some really nice ones in there. All right. So there we go. Um, all right, so our, our edition of, um, of baseball is done, and we go, are the minis all ready to go? Ready to Look go. at you. Look at you. <laughs> all right. So if everybody wants to hang with us, um, everybody on board uh, with the mini helmets who had some mini helmets, Linda, hang out, watch with us. Um, all right. We're cleaning the table off a little bit. And we will go into the minis. All right. And box number one for a Johnny Unitas autograph mini helmet. And a new, uh, new buyer, I think, a new uh, participant in the mystery box. Yes, yeah, Brian. yeah. Yes, Richard. Thank, Thank you, you very Richard. much, Richard. Box number one goes to Richard. Let's Let's see what labels on. What, these labels? Wrinkly Who put that? I did. I know. <laughs> I guess if I did that, I could get the creases out. All right. But, okay. All right. So, hey, um, great, man. Hope you're box number that. one goes to Richard. Um, great lineup. Again, if you don't get Johnny Unitas, um, you're, you're not out. I mean, you, you know what? I'm going to. That is still first out. Yeah. Jim Kelly. Okay. So, this, this is good enough right here. I just wanted everybody to see the top. Uh, be opened and kind of the box not leave the camera. So there we go. So again, box number one goes to Richard. And let's see where we are here. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it was in one? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, back to back headliners. How about that? Back to back. Jack. And box number one. There we go. Box up. Oh, starting off with a pretty good one. Box number one is Jim Kelly. What an authentic. An authentic mini helmet. I don't know how you can have an authentic mini helmet. Yeah, I was just saying that. It means it has a metal face mask, basically, right? right? So there's yeah, Jim Kelly. Plastic. Great, great helmet. Buffalo Bill style here. Red throwback, machine gun Kelly. Went to four straight Super Bowls. Four. How many rings does he have? Zero. Zero. He has four AFC championship <laughs> he rings. He has zero rings. That's terrible. Four how would you like to be a Bills fan? I mean, you're excited every time, but... Yeah, by that fourth one, they had to like, do you think they were like, this is our year, or it's like, we're going to lose Here we again. go again. Here yes, here we go again. <laughs> There's All right. no way we lose four right. in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady's the best quarterback. <laughs> Jim Kelly is, and I got the t-shirts to prove it. Okay. Um, this is, now, the, um, the last name um, was on the order, but we didn't have a first name. Yeah. So, Mr. Or, or Ms. Crowley, yeah, Mr. or Miss Crowley, if you're out there, just what's your first name, if you're watching? Um, we like to get to know everybody. So there's Crowley, Mr. or Miss Crowley. Uh, let's see. Box number two. Um, Neil said, "Come on with that nine again." Yeah, Hammer and Hank, and yeah, Neil hit. Neil called me for his order. He, you see, you can you can order on the website. You can give us a call. However you want to do it. If you're driving and you don't want to pull over, you can give us a call. And, of course, operators are standing by at all times. That's right. All right. So, box number two, again, goes to Crowley. And box number two is Hall of Famer Rod Woodson. That's HOF and Mm-hmm. Right yep. Hall of Famer Rod Woodson with HOF. On a Steeler helmet. Hall of Fame player and Hall of Fame guy. Yes, yeah, he is. Yes, he there is. Yes. All right. So Crowley gets Rod Woodson, and we go to box number three. Who is James Lowry? Uh, James had participated before. Yes. Yes. Um, mm hmm So James, let's see what we get here. Box number three. Hmm. All right. Great moments. Mystery boxes. Box number three. Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas. Nice little white pen there with the HOF. Done. Looks nicer in person. I, I guess it's a reflection of the white on the yeah. But that's a that's good looking signature. HOF 07. Went to four straight Super Bowls. He also <laughs> went to four straight Super Bowls. That's right. Or did he? Maybe not. Did he Maybe lose no. his helmet? Yes, he lost his helmet. Yes, before, and he was had to, I literally wanted, sat out. Right. They because he couldn't find his helmet. He couldn't find his helmet. For like the first two plays, three, like yeah, literally drive, missed some of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, literally missed some of the game. Um, was that him? Yeah, 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 it wasn't yeah. it wasn't um Terrell Davis. Yeah, was Terrell the Davis had the migraines right. and had to sit out a little right. bit. Okay. Against the Cowboys. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I guess when you're a Bills fan and you're watching it and you hear it, you're like, what can go wrong now? And then you hear the announcer say, Thurman Thomas lost his helmet. Right. You know, <laughs> I guess I guess that's what can go wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> There we go. All right, Eric. Box number four. That's funny. <laughs> what, what can go wrong now? <laughs> Thurman Thomas lost his helmet. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we go. Box number four, right? Yeah. Goes to Eric. And Eric gets a cold helmet. And it's Raymond Barry. There's a nice, beautiful, bold signature. Ray, look at that signature. Mm -hmm. Raymond Barry. 
Best wishes to Raymond Barry, by the way. I haven't heard that he's sick in any way, but he is very slow, yeah, slowing down mm -hmm. um, with life, and it's not doing any more autograph signings. Yeah. I actually had somebody call me last week. Ask about Raymond? Ask if he died. No. Like, no, no. Yes, <laughs> he's living, I believe he's, yeah, he's living with his daughter in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but no more right, but not doing no the autograph, no more, no more autograph, traveling. Yeah. Hopefully, just sitting back and his you can't get him there. right. Basically, si hopefully he's sitting back in his um, recliner, yeah. enjoying some life. Yeah. You know, binging Hang up on uh, American surnames and their origins. Oh, that's, that's right. That's right. Yes, case. yes, yes. <laughs> so he's probably not binging stranger, th binging on Stranger Things. No. no? Okay. Right. So no. you never know. So there's Der Derek White, number five. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see how many viewers we have compared to what we had for the cards. Very interesting to see if the okay. see if the card people bail. Yeah. yeah. What do we have there? Yeah, a little bit. What? Cut down by about a third. Okay. Yeah. All right. I bet Raymond's watching highlights at a 58 yeah, game. He might be. That's right. He could be watching us. That's right. He's sitting back. Boy, I love those mystery boxes. That's what he's saying right now. All right, and we have Steve Largent. There we go. Steve Largent, Seattle Seahawks. You know, and until recent years, Derek, uh, Steve Largent, until recent years, we had collectors that would collect one autographed mini helmet from each team. Mm -hmm. And until recent years, Steve Largent was it. Yeah, he until was the Sean guy. Alexander, you couldn't get anybody. Like, yeah, right, even I mean, him. Russell I Wilson, mean, until right. Russell, until Richard Sherman, Russell Wilson came along. Yeah. Um, it was difficult. Yeah. Like I would say, like they'd say, people would come in and say, "I got an autograph meeting helmet of every team. Like, who do you have for Seattle?" And every now and then you hear like Jim Zorn, you know, something like that. Right. You know. Yeah, like who right. There's no Steve Largent, so there we go. Steve Largent. We could get Hall uh, of Fame inscriptions. Yes, yes. Hall of Fame, 95. Neil, while you're uh, here, are we, um, are we shipping to Neil? It doesn't say. Or oh. Or Perry Hall pick Oh, up that's right. Because, uh, yeah. Neil, just comment if, we're, if you're going to pick up or we're going to ship. I failed to ask you when I was taking the order manually. I failed to ask you um, what we were going to do with yours. If we were going to uh, get it to Perry Hall, Westminster, or ship. So you can comment Perry Hall, Westminster, or ship. So there, okay, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, Kevin's a frequent flyer with us. And he's a ship. Yes, he is. And Kevin, we are at box number six. Box number six goes to Kevin. And box number six is another cold helmet. It's a beautiful Johnny Unitas autograph mini helmet. Congrats, Kevin. There you go, Kevin. Number six. I was just going to say, Throwback. Kevin, Kevin only got one this time, but I guess it doesn't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at that great signature. Boy, it came out early. It's back. Yeah. It's back. To, could you give me the letter? I think it's right over there. Um, it's back to coming out early. Box number six with the uh, letter of authenticity from uh, James Spence Authentication. Uh, you don't find these that bright blue very often. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There it is, Kevin. The blue uh, blue signature on a pure white helmet with the uh, throwback. Um, the letter of authenticity. So that's a great looking a helmet. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out and show everybody. There's, there we go. A little bit better look right there. Look at that. Right. It'll go with your jersey, nice. Kevin. That's right. The JSA sticker on the back. Letter of authenticity right there. Yes. All right. All right. So there it is. And that, yeah, this is the right box. Make sure it goes in the right box. Uh, no, I was talking to myself, no. not, not you. 
All right, so uh, we're going to go to box number seven for Anthony. One off, Anthony. One off, buddy. Box number seven. Still some good minis in here. Plenty of good minis in here. Box number seven. I still say we need like some sound effects, or maybe when I open the box, confetti comes out, or maybe a little soundboard right. or something. Okay. I need a theme song. One off again. And we have Paul Kraus, Minnesota Vikings. Goes to Anthony, Paul Kraus. He had like 50, 60 interceptions or something. Yeah, I think Right? Uh, he had like 60 interceptions. Is he the all-time leader? I think he still think is he the all-time leader in yeah. INTs. We looked yeah. that up before. Yeah. And, of course, there's the James Spence authentication card. Paul Kraus, Hall of Fame, 98, Vikings. I mean, there's a, a bunch of... I mean, there are some Viking Hall of Famers to get. Um, I guess Fran Tarkenton would come to mind. Carl Eller. Randy Moss. Oh, uh, Randy Moss. Yeah. I'm He's thinking old, I'm thinking old school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Jerry Brown, number eight. And let's see there. Number eight. And we have, for Jerry, Earl Campbell. And I tell you what, Earl's signature is getting smaller and smaller. Earl Campbell, Hall of Fame 91, JSA Authentication, Earl Campbell. Great looking helmet, Houston Oilers helmet. Um, and, to th and when you think about it, I think Earl... Uh, when you ask what Houston Oiler helmet do you have uh, signed by a Hall of Famer, Earl Campbell comes to mind, and, and I don't think too many others come to mind. Um, but yeah, Earl Campbell, great helmet there. Yep. And Earl Campbell goes to Jerry Brown at number eight. So we are going to go to box number nine, and Neil is up. Neil. Hank Aaron in the first one. Neil, you out there, buddy? Hank Aaron in the first one. And let's see what number nine brings. Are we waiting for Neil still to say ship Perry Hall, Westminster? Yeah, okay, Neil. Well, I can message Neil. Yeah, we can. We can. Yep. Sure. Uh, number nine. I said it was time for dinner. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there he is. There he is. Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great, Neil. Okay, so Neil, Westminster, Perry Hall, or are we shipping? What would you like us to do? Yeah, you can pick it up at one of the stores or we yes. can ship. I will tell you it is $3. Oh, Westminster oh. pickup. Oh, yeah, nice. Man. There we go. I was going to tell him, hey, it's going to cost them $3.95 <laughs> to ship both the card and the helmet yeah. together. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. Green Bay Packers, David Robinson, Hall of Fame 2013. Josh, did he just... I don't want to say. I hate saying that. Yes. yes. David Robinson, Hall of Fame 2013, with the uh, JSA sticker and card. Number 89, David Robinson. Great looking signature. It's really hard not to get. Uh... Uh, the basketball player. When you Google David Robinson, yes, I'm sure. And David Robinson went to Neil at number nine. We're going to keep yours here in Westminster. Oh. Still alive. 78 years young. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Box number 10 goes to Derek. Yeah, Derek's are in a row again. Derek Beard, number 10. Derek White, number 11. Derek Beard, number 10. They met in the Derek... Uh, in the Derek Club? the Derek Club. This, this, That's weak. What if they're buddies? It's <laughs> yeah. weird. They're back-to-back. Back back yeah, it is. It is. All right. But this Derek is Derek Beard yeah. at box number 10. And Willie Rope. Hall of Fame 2012 from the Saints. It's another team. Oh, I'm getting an autographed mini helmet from every team. Oh, who are you getting? 
Yeah, up until and before Drew Brees. 2012, who did you say? Up until Brees, and no. it's probably uh. No, but you want a Hall of Famer, and not that he's uh, not. Yeah, but, but I think you could say he was. He was no, no, I agree. But up until 2000, you know. Archie Manning a Hall of Famer? Nope. No. Nope. He was good. Yeah. But he's the father of Peyton. Didn't, right. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a good signature. There you go. You can see that real nice now. Yeah, Willie Rose, Hall of, Hall of Fame, 2012. And that goes to Derek Beard. Now we go to Derek White. At number 11. Okay. Number 11. And Derek White. Gets a great mini helmet. Tony D. Tony Dorsett. Dallas Cowboys. That's a great mini helmet for uh, $79.99. Yeah, the Admiral. That's right. Um, there it is. Tony Dorsett. Dallas Cowboys mini helmet. Tony Dorsett. Nothing wrong with that. All right. And that goes to Derek White at number 11. And we are going to go to number 12. Number 12 is Dan Stevens. Danny boy. Dan Stevens. I wonder if Dan is watching. Yeah, that's a good one, Derek. That is awesome. All right, Dan Stevens. If I had to guess, I'm not even going to guess who I think he would want. Besides Unitas. Yeah, besides Johnny Unitas. Oh, okay. That's the one he won. That, he, yeah. yeah. Jerome Bettis. Very nice. That's a great looking helmet. Jerome Bettis. That's a good looking helmet Jerome right there. Dots. Yes, the four dots in his loop at the end. I asked him once, what are the four dots? He said the four wheels on the bus. And I said, okay. All right. So there we go. This is Beckett Authenticated. Oh, Beckett card. See a little Beckett card, Beckett sticker, Jerome Bettis mini helmet. All right, we go to Richard Miller, box number thirteen. That's a new one too, I believe. Huh? I believe it is Richard Miller, box number thirteen. And let's see what Richard gets. Richard will get a. Another one, when you say before Tom Brady, mm -hmm. right? Or Patriot. You need a there Hall of Famer. Is. John Hanna. Yep. Um, so I think, is Russ Francis in the Hall of Fame? I, couldn't I don't think he is. I, uh, I don't know, but there's John Hanna. I've never heard of Russ Francis. Tight end for the New England Patriots and Niners uh, late in his career. Not, right, because wasn't, uh, there wasn't, uh, there was only a couple tight ends for a long time. I think that's. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so John Hanna. We'll, we'll look it look it up. Look up Russ Francis. Um, another Hall of Famer that you could put on a Patriot helmet. You know who it is? Uh, Probably won't guess it. Probably will not guess it. Does anybody else out there know another Hall of Famer that you could put on a Patriot helmet? If you'd like to guess it. Raymond Barry. Raymond Barry. That Bingo, that's that? it. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah. one I was thinking right. of. Okay. Darn you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, uh, Raymond he Barry. Bowler, Russ Francis, but no... Uh, okay, all right. So John player. Hanna went to uh, number 13, Richard Miller. Um, yes, Raymond Barry was the coach of the New England Patriots when they were whooped by the Bears 56 to what? It was like 56 to something. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. It was real bad. Okay, Rusty, number 14. I know which one Rusty wants. That's left. Yep. I know which one he wants, and I don't want to say it. All right. All right, Rusty. That is the one I was thinking. Is that it? It's the one I was thinking. 
Bill Parcells <laughs> with a great mini helmet nice with the Super Bowl uh, Roman numerals. Bill Parcells. I'm going to take it out. Bill Parcells. That's a great mini helmet. And the old school giant. Yes, helmet. exactly. Yep. I always picture Bill Parcells with the Gatorade being carried off, drenching. Yeah. Drenched in uh, Gatorade. Look at that. Hey, Brian. Oh, Mike Haynes. He's right. Mike Haynes, New England Patriots. Okay. But um, did he pay for the Patriots or the Raiders longer, Brian? Is he in as a Patriot? That's the question. Yeah. I, I, he might have played equal time, Patriots and Raiders. Bill Parcells, great mini helmet. I'm going to get that right here. So we have had Bill Parcells, Jim Kelly, Johnny Unitas... And this is the special $79 edition. All right. So we are going to go to box number. Oh, can you get this? Box, what is this? Box number. Box number 15, 15. Jerry Brown. All right. How do you, because I don't want to. Oh, he's with Patriots longer. Ah. Oh, wait. Brian says Raiders. Bill says Patriots. Josh, you're going to have to look that up. Yeah, you're right. All right, Jerry. Let's see what we get. Oh, a good one. Forgot about this guy. Howie Long. Howie Long on the Raiders. Good looking mini helmet. JSA authentication. Howie Long. And there it is. Howie Long. Okay. Howie Long goes to Jerry Brown at number 15. Number 16. I'm going to need help with that one. <laughs> All right, number 16, James Lowry. James Lowry at number 16, and James is going to pick his up in Perry Hall. Are you looking it up? Or are you I'm trying to find no? it. You'd think it would be like just super easy to find. Like Wikipedia, wouldn't it say like 19 this to 19 this, 19 this to 19 this? Yeah, I mean, not just Patriots. That makes it difficult to. No, it would should categorize the team. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so there we go. All right, so we are at. Um, James Lowry, number 16. And Mr. Lowry gets Mike Ditka on a throwback yeah. Bears. Four Hall of Famers for the Pats. Yep, Mike Ditka. I guess including uh, Ty Law just went in, so that's one. Of right, the four. Ty Law. And obviously, you have uh, Hannah, who we just pulled. Yes, right. Mike Haynes. Mike Haynes. Who's number four? Randy Moss. Oh, Randy. Right. Oh, no, no. He's no. Right. He's on, yeah. So three. Yeah, I don't know. But they had players play for them, like right. That's what like you, Randy that's the Moss. Thing that comes up is everybody that Look, played Randy for the Moss, Patriots Raymond was Barry a was a coach for the Patriots. Right. Hmm. Is Vince Wolfbook a Hall of Famer? Is Rodney Harrison in the Hall of Fame? I don't believe he is. But the, Mike Dicka. Goes to James. Oh, James Lowry. Down the, down the list. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, box number uh, 17 to Corey. All right, Andre Tippett. Okay, John yeah. John Hanna. Uh huh. Mike Haynes. Mike Haynes. That's Bonacani. Did he? Would he have gone in as a Patriot? No. It says 62 to 68. He's the highlighted guy for the. And then Ty Law. Well, when did he play with the Dolphins? 1970. <laughs> no. 72. 72. But he was with them longer yeah, than maybe. that. He was with them from... Hmm. All right. Yeah, his, his Hall of Fame page has him as a Patriot. Wow. That's a surprise. Yeah. That's a big surprise. All right, Something Corey, number 17. Oh, Brian says he went into the Hall of Fame... As a Raider. 
Dolphin. For Bonacani. Kevin, Patriots Bonacani have four Hall of Famers. All star games with the Patriots and only one with the Dolphins. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Corey, box number 17. And while we open number 17, I'd like to thank everybody who participated in both mystery box openings tonight. I love the card one, I love them backed up by a Unitas mini helmet. Okay, and this is Kenny Easley for the um, Seattle Seahawks. Did he write 84 Defensive Player of the he Year? Did. Is it DPOY? Yeah. All right, Kenny Easley. Yeah. You wonder, I guess you know, he's under, uh, Bonnie Connie's under the uh, Dolphins, too. So yeah, okay, all right, so he's under, teams I got gotcha. you. Go okay, there we anyway. go. <laughs> All right, Cameron. <laughs> Show your pride there, buddy. All right, so Seattle Seahawks, Kenny Easley. 84 Defensive Player of the Year. Goes to Corey at number 17. Let's hit number 18. Rusty. Rusty's got 18 and 19. Mm-hmm. Well... Okay, so Rusty number 18. And at number 18, Warren Sapp. Yep. On the throwback. That's a nice one. I like those. Okay. Yeah, that's, yep. And the, um, by law is what in, I guess. Right, he went in this year, 19. Um, Andre Tippett, black belt. Black belt, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh, that's my bit of trivia on the on the Andre Tippett. All right. Yes. Hall of Fame, 13 for Warren Sapp. That goes to Rusty at number 18. Um, so, so Rusty had three. So he had uh, Bill Parcells, right? Warren Sapp, so he's not doing bad. Yeah. And then don't forget the, uh, the Ripken card. Oh, that's <laughs> the Ripken. That's right. Eric A. Rusty, number 19. Oh, another good one. Len Dawson. Len Dawson. Len Dawson, Hall of Fame, 1987, on a uh, Chiefs helmet. Chiefs have become relevant again, haven't they? They sure oh have. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if the Browns do. Len Dawson, Hall of Fame, 87, going to Rusty at number 19. So Rusty is leaving with Bill Parcells. Warren Sapp, Len Dawson, and Cal Ripken, 1982 Tops Traded. Rusty's doing all right. Autograph card. And we have Christopher Shock. I saw um, Haynes was a Raider Hall of Famer. He's listed under both. He, he oh, he listed under both there, went, Brian. Uh, when it's both teams. Okay. Thank you for the information, Brian. Yeah. For helping us out tonight. And we have number 20. Going to Chris, Christopher. Get to the Steelers. It's like Jesus. Hey, I don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> ah, well, you know the Ravens are starting to build them. I mean, as far as For how long, long we've been around. Yes, yes. Yeah, we have three. Yeah. After I guess when Suggs comes due, he'll he'll go in. Yeah. Yeah. We are rocking and rolling. Yeah. And we have a Super Bowl MVP. Two of them. All right. And we have Mel Renfro. Dallas Cowboys going to Chris at number 20, Hall of Fame 94, Mel Renfro. Oh, there you go. There's a good shot of it right there. All right. All right. Mel Renfro, Dallas Cowboy. All right. So we're just going to recap. We're just going to show the United. What's here? Just a, okay. We're just going to show the United one more time. And that's going to go to Kevin. Um, get my knife. Put that away. So I'm safe now. So here is a Johnny Unitas autograph throwback mini that's going to go with Kevin's jersey.
Look at that. Nice helmet. Yeah, we don't put junk in these mystery boxes. Mm -hmm. If we say if we say it's a Mickey Mantle or it's a DiMaggio or it's a Unitas, it is a premium autograph. It's a high quality autograph. The baseballs aren't yellowed. The mini helmets aren't faded, right? And there's the letter of authenticity from James Spence Authentication. All right, so we, in closing, we'd like to thank everybody again who participated in uh, tonight's openings of the mystery boxes. We opened 40 boxes tonight. It was we fun. Sure did. 40, bo 40 boxes. <laughs> 40 boxes we opened tonight. I didn't think about that a just, just a minute ago. I know. I know. Uh, well, we opened 100 one night. Thanks, Brian. So, yep. So, um, we got a trade. Any trades thank for you, large? Brian. Uh oh, what's this? See you soon, Brian. Nice. Any trades for Largent? So we have anybody a Steve Largent that's up for trade, right? Yeah. So anybody want to offer anything for the Steve Largent mini helmet? Oh, that's nice. Never been to the That's nice. They, I've, I've never been to an induction. I've never Not, been to any kind of induction, but I've never been to the football. Right, game. right. we got to go out there once. Take a ride. Take a weekend. Because you can get through it in like three hours. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yes. Um, so, oh, that's right, Michelle. Uh, we ordered some uh, Hall of Fame helmets for Michelle. Nice. Yep. Thanks, Anthony. I'm glad you guys had a good time, Michelle. That's that's just awesome. Mm. Um, okay. So, again, we'd like to thank everybody for participating. Uh, GreatMomentSportsCards.com is where you can get your um, Great Moments Mystery Boxes. Uh, we will make an announcement on our Facebook page of Great Moments Inc. We will probably make an announcement later in the week um, announcing what our next mystery box slash boxes are going to be. Um, everybody seems to be up for the cards again. Mm -hmm. um, so let me uh, go through some inventory. See, um, I think we have another Ripken, and I think that would be a really nice one again. Mm -hmm. I think, um, but let's see what we have. We'll mix it up with some baseball and some football in the same edition. Um, you know, try to get all Hall of Famers again, or, you know, close to Hall of Famers. Um, so, again, GreatMomentSportsCards.com for your mystery boxes. Be watching uh, our Facebook page for uh, mystery box announcements coming soon. Yep. That means, um, and if it's later that day, we'll, we'll put on there later, you know, coming this afternoon or coming tonight, mystery box now. But, but normally it means the next day that uh, we are going to announce it. Um, and then we ha we'll have some great product in our mystery boxes. Be sure to watch Josh on Thursday. Uh, we open cards in our Great Moments Break Lounge. And we have a huge announcement, big announcement coming for the uh, Break Lounge. That will be coming on Thursday. Um, so if you'd like to skip over to the Great Moments Break Lounge, we'll probably even put that on our regular Facebook page. Great Moments. Yeah, it's such a big announcement. Yeah, that's a big yeah it's a yeah. great announcement with a... Um, involves a superstar in in sports today mm -hmm. um so again thank you very much have a good evening we have a great time doing this it's a lot of fun and uh, go relax have a good evening thank you very much thanks guys bye